Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can craft the insect hammer and this is level 2 which requires for some things to in order to uh, uh, get into certain locations or hit certain elements that give you certain materials so this is level 2 um, the first one by the way that you craft is this one, pebble hammer, but this is level 1 alright, so if you go here sorry to workbench tools you can see the insect hammer so this requires sting bug part berry leather boiling gland sting bug part you get by well eliminating the sting bug uh, berry leather is in a certain location on the map on the southeast location of the map i'm going to show you in a moment and boiling lead uh, is from the bombired uh, beetle again i'm going to show you it in just a moment so you actually need these three parts in order to uh, three materials in order to craft this insect armor. So let me show you how you can get all three. All right, the first one is eliminating sting bug part. You might need to eliminate more than once. So just keep this in mind uh, until we get a five. So this is this creature as you can see here. Uh, and what you need to do is uh, again depends on the weapon. You can find even location where you can get an uh, elevated advantage and it can actually hit you and you can hit it maybe with a bow or just with your melee weapon uh, but if you are well equipped you can just kind of move around him and just hit him with a strong melee weapon and uh, if you are stunned uh, you can stun him for quite a long time so it will be even easier to so just wait for the round and eventually you will get it just pay attention how much you get on the left side of the screen because if you have enough you can continue on uh, by farming the other parts the next thing is berries and in order to get to those berry chunks uh, you need to go to this location on the map we first need those berry chunk in order to craft berries leathers uh, so uh, here you can see berry leather all right but i need to see to craft it i need those berry chunks so those berry chunks are located either on the ground near the tree or on the tree itself now unfortunately I don't have a footage for the how they actually look like, next time I will remember to record it. Uh, but it's just blue kind of blue spheres, it's very easy to recognize. And in order to get up, don't go from here, there's a way to circulate the tree, there's kind of a branch that goes up the tree. This allows you to go up and just hit those uh, berry chunks and they fall down and then you can collect them from the ground. But just keep in mind there are spiders there so be careful. Now the last part that you need is from the boiling gland and you can get it by eliminating a bombardier beetle. Uh, if you don't get it, try again. <laughs> uh, so this is it. Uh, you can fight it just with a melee and just circulate around it and hit it. Uh, just keep in mind it's very strong. Or just, you know, kind of be on an elevation and just hit it with your bow and arrow. Uh, and again, if you get it, that's it. You have all the three parts. After you finish all these, head on to your base uh, because we need a workbench or if you have a workbench nearby, uh, you need it in order to craft this one. This is why it's under workbench gear. So as you can see, now I need to craft. We are not finished just yet. So I need berry leather and to get berry leather, we see I need those berry chunks. So I need to craft them from the berry chunks in order to get the berry leather. Uh, here you can see me just doing just that. You can also analyze uh, the berry leather on the way. But if you already unlock it, you won't find anything that you know unknown, uh, as you can see here. So uh, <clears throat> this is it. And now it's time to uh, craft this uh, level 2 hammer. And the boiling land, which I have in my, well, in my storage. So I need you to go to the storage and bring it up. Now we definitely have everything that we need in order to craft it. We go to the workbench and just press either space to craft or F to craft and equip. And there you have the insect hammer. And then you can use it whatever in certain areas that requires a level 2 hammer. So this is it for this video. I hope you find it useful. Uh, consider subscribing and liking if you find it useful. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers. Bye bye.